So, which method will actually give you bigger, healthier plants and a more abundant garden classic composting or cutting-edge fermentation? Stop wasting time with methods that aren't optimized for your specific needs. We're breaking down the science and showing you the undeniable advantages of each, so you can confidently choose the soil-enriching technique that will deliver the best results for your garden this year. Fellow gardeners, we've all been there, standing in our gardens wondering why our neighbors' tomatoes are towering over ours, why their roses seem more vibrant, why their soil looks so much richer and darker. You know, the secret often lies beneath the surface in the soil amendments they're using. Today, we're settling the debate once and for all between two powerhouse methods that can transform your garden traditional composting and accelerated fermentation techniques. The reality is that many gardeners waste months or even years using inefficient methods that don't match their specific needs, space constraints, or gardening goals. Some chase the romance of the traditional compost pile without considering whether it's actually the best fit for their situation. Others dismiss fermentation as too complicated or newfangled without really understanding its remarkable benefits. By understanding the fundamental differences between these approaches, you'll never again wonder if you're using the right method for your garden's unique requirements. So, traditional composting, it actually works through aerobic decomposition. That basically means it needs oxygen to break down organic matter effectively. In this process, beneficial microorganisms get to work, consuming both carbon and nitrogen-rich materials when there's air present. And as a result, they generate heat, which helps break down things like pathogens and weed seeds. The real magic, honestly, happens when you mix brown materials, like dried leaves, paper, and woody stems, with green materials such as fresh grass clippings, vegetable scraps, and coffee grounds. You want to aim for about a 3 to 1 ratio, browns to greens, for the best results. The beauty of traditional composting, you know, is in its ability to create truly exceptional soil structure over time. As all that organic matter breaks down, it forms humus, which is this dark, crumbly substance. Humus really improves your soil's ability to hold on to moisture while still maintaining good drainage. So, this humus acts like tiny sponges throughout your soil, holding water when plants need it, but, you know, releasing excess moisture to prevent root rot. The slow decomposition process also creates a steady, long-term nutrient release system that feeds your plants gradually over months or even years. However, traditional composting demands patience and space that many modern gardeners simply don't have. A proper compost pile needs adequate room for air circulation, regular turning to maintain oxygen levels, and honestly, careful moisture management. The process typically takes anywhere from three months to over a year to produce finished compost, depending on your management techniques and environmental conditions. During this extended time frame, valuable nutrients like nitrogen can escape into the atmosphere reducing the final product's potency. The space requirements can be particularly challenging for urban gardeners or those with smaller properties. Additionally, improperly managed compost piles can attract unwanted pests, produce unpleasant odors, and become breeding grounds for flies if the carbon-to-nitrogen ratio becomes imbalanced. Fermentation, particularly through methods like Bokashi, represents a revolutionary approach to creating soil amendments that preserves maximum nutritional value while dramatically reducing processing time. This anaerobic process occurs in sealed, oxygen-free environments where beneficial microorganisms ferment organic waste instead of decomposing it through traditional breakdown. The fermentation process excels at nutrient retention because it doesn't rely on heat-generating decomposition that can drive off valuable compounds. While traditional compost requires months of patience, fermentation completes its initial phase in just two to three weeks. The sealed container system eliminates odor concerns and pest attraction, making it perfect for indoor use or small spaces. 
you can literally run a fermentation system in your kitchen, garage, or apartment balcony without disturbing neighbors or attracting unwanted visitors. While compost piles traditionally avoid meat, dairy, oils, and cooked foods due to pest and odor concerns, fermentation systems thrive on these materials. This means you can divert virtually all your food waste from landfills, including items that would typically require special disposal methods. Ready to revolutionize your garden's potential? Try implementing one or both of these soil supercharging methods this growing season and witness the remarkable transformation in your plant's health and productivity. Don't forget to subscribe to the Humus Heritage channel for more science-backed gardening techniques that will take your garden from ordinary to extraordinary. Share this guide with fellow gardeners who are ready to unlock their soil's hidden power and create the thriving garden they've always dreamed of achieving.